Hello everyone. There we go. <clears throat> Hello everyone. Fable here. And it's time for my progress update for Scalvy. Where's my... There you are. So, this is where I was at yesterday. Well, not exactly here. I didn't have all the boxes. But hey, in case you guys are ever wondering, that's what all the goddamn, uh, all the goddamn, uh, build a box things are. That's what they all look like. Don't know why I'm doing this, it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, okay. So this is around where we were last time. Finished her head, got everything all nice and perfect. Just hold on, I gotta do this now. Okay. Wow. That was a lot of head layers. And then again, I think every time I made a line, every time I had to make a, a backup line, I, uh, I made a new layer just to be safe. Oh, I see. Ear. Eyebrow. Let me get rid of that one. There we go. All right. This was Scavi yesterday. Pretty good, right? She's uh well made. And today, today I did this stuff. Like, here she is. Nice and completed. The detailed scales are done all around her chest area, her neck, and her arm. Uh, her scales grow in heavier on her left side. Which is something I want to emphasize by the fact that the scales don't go all the way up over here. I also made her... I also made her underwear so I can cover up her bitch. And I began working on some of her uh, clothing and magic items. Her ring of spell storing, her spell focused wristband, and her gauntlets of archery. Or her braces of archery. But, um, yeah, this is Scavi so far. Uh, personally, this one's my favorite because who doesn't like a good set of underwear? So I hope you're all enjoying this because, oh, this is the best drawing I've done so far. And tomorrow I get to clothe her up. My favorite part is clothing. I have a few ideas for dresses I want to do. So, yes, tomorrow my update is going to be her in all of her clothing. I'm going to have a... My basic plan right now is... Let's just see if I can make a folder. Just so I can draw the basics. Oh, I got all white. Okay, just make sure I'm on track. Okay, so my basic plan right now is to grade her a sort of... Like, a dress is, a dress is obviously, going to, obviously going to cover up her, her chest, her chestal regions. It's going to... It's going to V-neck, sort of. Off the side, 
Offer a nice little hip there. And then right around here, it's gonna slit. Slit for mobility in combat. So our legs aren't always aren't consistently restrained. And on top of that, I'm gonna add her a like there's a little known thing about her because she's an NPC, so I can add what add whatever I want whenever I want. But she has a large but she has a large uh, bow tie around her back. The idea gotten from Hero Forge. So, yeah, this is a basic idea about what I'm planning on doing. A nice dress, and once I, um... And once I finish the dress, I'm going to do other accessories, like like an armband, because you can never have too many accessories. Well, yeah, actually you can. can, but her arms are pretty bare. So I might have an armband here. A, uh... Hmm. Maybe a scarf? No. Well, maybe. She's trying to hide her dragon skills right now. I'll have to play around with that tomorrow. But this is the basic the basic rough draft of what I want to get done tomorrow is the dress. I have a friend who's into fashion and she sent me a she sent me a good number of um of dress references, I guess is a good way to call it. Including uh well including when I showed her the picture of Scavi when I was working on it, she's she sent me a link for bra types and bra functions so I can so I can come up with a decent bra for her because the, my first one was horrible but then these little waist waist high panties are nice um her, her ring of spell storing has always been there the braces of archery was a gift to help her defend herself without magic so might put a bow on along might put a bow along her back I don't know Probably not though, because the bow doesn't create her. She she is not the bow, but she is um she's a spellcaster. And my favorite thing about sorcerers is that because they don't wear armor, I can make I can, I can fucking put her many clothes I want. Doesn't matter. And also, drawing has not been easy today because I am quite sick. I have been sneezing like no other. And my lungs hurt from it, but, you know, whatever. It's fine. It's all fine. I'm great. I'm fantastic. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you all tomorrow for when Scavi has been significantly closed. And I'll see you about maybe starting the color outline tomorrow because I'm excited to finish this because... She's so detailed. I, this is like single-handedly the best drawing I've ever done in my life. And it's all thanks to Mike Mega Mega and Rapid Fire Art. Like, I know nobody watches these, but if you made it to this point, please check out Mickey or Mikey Mega Mega and Rapid Fire Art. Because Rapid Fire Art showed me how to do this. Showed me how to do this uh, three-fourths head. And and uh, Mikey does really awesome uh, body tutorials. He helped me with the hand here. Uh, this hand I had to improvise on because I just, for the life of me, cannot get the hand he was doing at the point right. It's just, oh, my suffering is brought on by me. Um, wasn't for him, I wouldn't be able to do the hips right. I would never have been able to do the hips right and the uh, midsection. But... He's a great body artist for manga, anime, stylish, which is really, really kind of what you want when you're starting off, because it's it's simple. I'm not going for hyper-realism here, except for the face. I want the face to be as realistic as possible, but the body, let the body be, let the body be manga. I mean, in case it's not obvious, 
I'm not going for hyper-realism here. She's fucking half-dragon. So, you know, maybe not in my top priorities. Uh, anyway, I'm going to head out. Goodbye, everyone. See you tomorrow.